Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be going over 15 untold stories of ancient Roman gladiators. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Female Gladiators Existed Women, known as gladiatrices, fought in the arena, though their appearances were rare and often viewed as novelty entertainment. Number 2. Not all were slaves. Some gladiators were free men, called octorati, who volunteered for the life of a gladiator for money or to settle debts. Number 3. Spartacus led a slave revolt. Spartacus, a former gladiator, led a significant slave uprising against Rome from 73 to 71 BCE, threatening the stability of the Roman Republic. Number 4. Gladiators were highly trained. They underwent rigorous training in special schools called Ludi, where they honed their fighting skills under experienced trainers. Number 5. They lived in barracks. Gladiators lived together in gladiatorial barracks, closely monitored and controlled by their owners and trainers. Number 6. Gladiators were celebrities. Successful gladiators became celebrities, admired by the public and even sponsored by wealthy patrons for their prowess in the arena. Number 7. Some were highly paid. Gladiators could earn a lot of money, especially if they survived multiple battles. Some were able to buy their freedom. Number 8. The Emperor Could Decide Their Fate During gladiatorial contests, the emperor or sponsor of the games had the final say on whether a defeated gladiator would live or die. Number 9. Gladiators Had Medical Care Despite their violent profession, gladiators received excellent medical attention to ensure they could continue fighting. Number 10. Their diet was mostly vegetarian. Gladiators were called barley men because they mainly ate barley, beans, and grains to maintain their strength and stamina. Number 11. Riot of Pompey's Gladiators. In AD 59, a gladiatorial match in Pompey led to a deadly riot between Pompey and Nuceria, resulting in the cancellation of future games in the town. Number 12. Gladiators took oaths of loyalty. Upon entering the arena, gladiators swore an oath to endure flames, chains, and death, committing fully to their brutal life. Number 13. Some fought against animals. While most gladiators fought other men, some were specifically trained to fight wild animals like lions, bears, and leopards in brutal spectacles. Number 14. Winning Freedom Skilled and lucky gladiators could win their freedom, symbolized by receiving a wooden sword called the Rudus, signifying their release from combat. Number 15. Their weapons were customized. Gladiators used a variety of specialized weapons and armor, often based on their combat class, such as the Retiarius with a net and trident or the Secutor with a sword and shield. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.